Thank you so much for the time today. I love the new season. I love the first season, but this one just builds on so much. Uh, Meredith, starting with you, uh, you know, would you say, is this season creepier or was it just me? Because I, I felt like there's a bit more, a bit more of that factor this season. It was not just you, Andrew. Absolutely. That was our, our plan was really just to turn the dial up this season. Everything is so much more heightened. Um, and we really kind of leaned into some more of the, the hor horror elements of the show. And, you know, the show is just, I think, a bit richer this season, a bit more mature, just as our characters have matured. So, no, it was not just you to feel that. And I am thrilled that you did because that that was our goal. I love it. I love everything about it. <laughs> Carlton, for you, uh, you know, working together as a team, I'm curious if you both had specific goals this season. And in particular, uh, it felt like the characters come together a bit more this season. There, there were some out in the dark or off the sides who feel like they're coming in this season. How, how was that part of the plan? You know, I, I think our overall goal was just the very simple goal of trying to make season two even better than season one. I feel like we did that. And along the way, uh, you know, our goal is to kind of continue to have the characters evolve. And in season one, the characters were very much caught up in the grief of their father's death, of this very dislocating move across country to this new house, the discovery of the keys. But in season two, they now accept the keys. The whole opening scene with Kinsey in her head where she's very much in control of the keys is meant to show the evolution of the kids. And really season two now is exploring the question of, okay, now that these kids are the um, new keepers of these keys, what are the costs and consequences for them of that responsibility? And so we wanted the relationships to evolve and not just be playing the same dynamics, but to actually have this new thematic really help us develop what the new dynamics would be between the characters. Meredith, can you talk a bit about how you both work together? What what kind of, what do you both bring to the show? It's a good question. I mean, we, we, you know, when we first started developing the show together, we sat down and talked about what were the things that we both really responded to from the comic and found that we had a lot of the same ideas almost in a creepy way. We very much saw the show in the same way. And, you know, we've, always been very aligned on the kinds of show that we wanted to make. Um, and, you know, I think we both bring different things to it and we both, you know, take on different responsibilities just because the job of a showrunner is extremely hard. And so it is so nice to be able to have a partner um, to be able to divide and conquer. So we, we do that a lot, um, but we very much have the same vision for the show and always had. Um, and I think that has been one of the great strengths of the show. I, I do love being able to kind of see what I imagine, at least, are your thumbprints, because I can kind of see at least what I understand from your works before, you know, what you've you both have done here. Um, Carlton, finishing up with you, I'm just curious, do you have something in particular that you're especially proud of this season, something that, that stood out for you as a real like hit out of the ballpark, if you will? Um, well, I would say that for me, one of the big joys of season two was getting to direct an episode. So the fifth episode of the season, um, I went up to Toronto in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, it was just a great way to bond up with the cast and crew. And it's um, it's a wonderful story where we go inside Eden's head and uh, the whole exploration of that and the, um, you know, being able to sort of work really intensely on the show for a period of time to bring that one episode to life um, based on a script that Meredith had written. I mean, that was really just a high point for me. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much. I haven't finished the season yet, but I, I'm loving everything so far and I, I can't wait to watch your episode next, actually. Thank you. All right, cool. Thanks. For Thanks so much. Me.